Thank you for this opportunity to share our study. I have nothing to disclose. While simulation training has become an integral part of the surgical residency in North America, it is yet to be widely adopted in most other countries. The survey conducted in Japan showed that only around half of res residency programs ha were equipped with some sort, some sort of simulation training facilities, which in most programs was a box trainer. And Japanese residents have no opportunity for simulation training during their clinical duty, unlike North American resident who ha residents who have academic half days. It also indicated that the majority of program directors have little time for training residents. As one possible solution to these issues, we previously demonstrated the remote coaching system using a laptop and free two-way web conferencing software and basic laparoscopic skills training. Okay. The resident performed the task watching the display. Using her laptop and web camera, the image is relayed to the uh, instructor's laptop. And the instructor can easily switch to the feed from her, uh, from her own dry box and demonstrate the task to the resident. All materials are commercially available. This system enables not only guidance, but also interaction between them, showing each other's performance visually. These coaching sessions were shorter than 30 minutes. And considering time constraint for both trainees and trainers, a time-efficient training method needs to be developed to utilize this setting. It is well known that human working memory is limited. We are able to deal with only a couple of conscious activities at simultaneously. For novices, it is especially challenging to deal with new materials at the same time because they require much effort and attentional resources. It, is, it would be better for them to process a small amount of information at a time. The previous publication demonstrate the, the technique for pancreatic duodenectomy, breaking it down into nine steps. It mentioned that the stepwise approach would allow the development of skills according to the degree of trainee expertise. It is, the pancreatic duodenectomy is a challenging and, and uh, advanced procedure, but we hypothesized that this approach could also be incorporated in basic laparoscopic skills training and remote setting. Our hypothesis is dividing a challenging task into more simple steps in it would enable trainees to focus on each short segment and acquire skills more time efficiently. The aim of this randomized control trial is to assess the impact of a stepwise training method in the remote setting. An intracorporate suturing task is relatively challenging for novices. We deconstructed this task into the following three simple steps. Needle holding, needle driving, and knot tying. The proficiency goal of each step was set up in time metric based on expert performance. And each participant was provided the remote system and had coaching sessions once a week with uh, the instructor, with an instructor through the internet once a week until achieving proficiency. All sessions began with a test to see the proficiency of the participant in performing intercorporate suturing. And the coaching sessions 
ended when the participant satisfactorily understood the guidance given them by the instructor. Between each session, they practiced on their own what they were taught. The stepwise training group practiced the task according to the previously mentioned steps. They are required to uh, uh, complete each step before moving to the next step. If a participant did not, uh, uh, if a participant did not achieve the proficiency in the test at the next session, they had the, uh, he or she had to practice the same step for another week. Their coaching sessions focused only on their current step. The comprehensive training group practiced the whole task during every coaching session and self-practice period. The primary outcome was the duration of remote coaching sessions. We also assessed the difference in the number of remote coaching sessions, the duration of self-practice time, and the cost of consumables they used. Training residents from 15 institutions were randomized into two groups, and all participants complete the training. The baseline characteristics were similar in both groups. Both groups required four remote coaching sessions to achieve, uh, to, to achieve proficiency. The stepwise training group required significantly shorter coaching time per session than the comprehensive training group. There is no significant, significant difference in total coaching time, self practice time, or the cost of consumables. Nine out of 10 residents in stepwise training group agreed the duration of each coaching session was adequate for their training. Also, nine residents agreed the stepwise method was useful for training and intercorporal suturing. In the remote setting, a stepwise method was useful in re remarkably reducing the, uh, the coaching time per session. A stepwise approach appears to make efficient use of both trainees and trainers' time. Thank you. Hi, this is Anand Malpani. I'm from Johns Hopkins. Uh, thanks for the talk. I have one question. Have you explored the combination of the two, of the overall training and the stepwise training? Because sometimes it's important to realize what the overall deficits could be in the task before you go and focus on the step, uh, the each individual steps. I'm sorry, I can hear your question. Could you please say any? Yeah. Oh, so order, do you mean step one and step two? Or in a yeah, because order? currently when they don't pass step two, they go back to the step one, right? And they keep doing step one. But sometimes there is some understanding of uh, step one that is affecting the step three as well. So if they don't get the complete picture and they're just focusing on one of the steps, uh, does it help or does it not help? Have you explored a combination of the two paradigms? Uh, no, no, is that, um, we did not do the different orders because um, this, so these steps are originally from the one, pr one task, so there's a flow from step one to three, so we use the, always use the same order. I think is I'll, it, I'll follow up with my question later on. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for your question.